I'm going to be giving you the best FPS boost for Roblox Rivals. I'm going to be showing you some things you can quickly do in Windows, the best in-game settings for Roblox, the best in-game settings for Rivals itself, and the best fast flags, as well as some other optimization tips. So make sure to watch to the end. You definitely don't want to miss anything because just one setting could literally change your entire experience. So if it helps, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get straight into this. So as promised, first of all, I'm going to start with some basic, basic Windows settings. You want to just go into your settings. Go over to the app, start up, and turn off anything here that you absolutely do not need. You probably have a ton of stuff that starts with your PC, it runs in the background, it uses up CPU, if you have it open, it's using up GPU, and it's lowering your performance. Turn as much of this off as possible. Going down to gaming, probably one of the most important things you can do. Game bar, turn that off, this is killing your FPS, it's always running in the background, again, it's just another process you don't need. Game mode, turn this on, and if you go to graphics, optimizations for windowed games, you want to turn this one on. And if you go into advanced graphics settings here as well, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, also known as HAGS. This also needs to be on. Now, if you go into a Windows search again and type in edit power plan, go into choose power plan, show additional options. I recommend using high performance if you do not have the ultimate performance option. Now, to get this, it's very simple. I just go to this website called howtogeek.com. They have a whole page on how to enable this, but it's literally just this line of code right here. I know it looks sketchy, but you open up your power plan, run it as an administrator. You paste the code, press enter. And just like that, if we now close, you have to close this down and reload it. But if you go back power plan here, we now have the ultimate performance option. And they are pretty much your Windows basics, but if you want to dial your Windows settings completely, I created the ultimate Windows optimization tool. It's a completely personalized optimization pack that does what videos cannot do. And not only do we have a Windows option, but we also have an NVIDIA optimization pack as well. Of course, the way you set up your GPU is very important. A lot of people go in their control panel, they'll drag this down to performance and call it a day. But actually configuring your 3D settings is what squeezes you the most performance. Now, I'm not saying you can't optimize your PC without it. Of course, you can. But you know, Flux that really cuts out the fluff from those, you know, one size fits all YouTube videos even like this. The truth is from videos alone, not everyone's going to have the same experience. But regardless, I do think I'm pretty good at it. So now looking at bootstrappers, I use Blockstrap and I use version 2.9.1. And the reason for that is because the new Blockstrap removed the fast lag editor. Of course, you can use Fishstrap, but this is the one I recommend. Going in here, going to configure settings. If you're not using a bootstrapper, I suggest you get on one. This is going to give you, again, the best opportunity for the best performance if you know what to do in here. Now, most of this is actually just complete quality of life or, you know, maybe even placebo, subjective. You're not going to yield many performance benefits from most of these things. In fact, it's just enabling more stuff that you probably don't want running. But in your editing settings, this is where it gets spicy. Now, as promised, I'm going to give you the best fast lags. But first of all, we're going for our rendering graphics settings. Individually, anti-aliasing, I would have this on one. For low end PC users, turn all of these on right here. So disable player shadows, disable post processing effects, and disable train textures. Frame rate limit, this actually doesn't work anymore, even if you set it to zero, which is meant to give you unlimited. But if you want to unlock your FPS, I have an entire video on my channel somewhere. Literally, I think I uploaded like a week ago. So you can just go and check that out. Preserve rendering quality of display scaling. Have this turned on for the most part, unless you're literally on a laptop office computer. Maybe you want to experiment turning this one off. And then rendering mode and texture quality. Rendering mode, you want to have an automatic. This is the best bet and the fast lags will kind of cover for this. And texture quality, have this set to level zero, the lowest. This is going to give you the best performance, but it may look a little garbage. So maybe you can budge up to level one. Now, fast flags in the fast lags editor, these are objectively the best flags. You literally cannot get more optimized flags than this right now. So you can either copy these values manually. If it helps, I'll open them up right here. Here you can see this is pretty much everything. Oh, and to import them, you literally just press add new right here. You can add the value separately. You can import the JSON file. I'll leave the download for this in my Discord server. Or to give you a third option, and I recommend you do this anyway, if you go to mods and open the mods folder, this is actually where the internal folder is stored. So when you edit your fast flags, it goes right into here. And this is the folder you'll be downloading and importing basically, or at least the values of it. But yeah, those values go into this notepad. And on this notepad, I suggest right clicking this, going to properties and ensuring that read only is ticked. Now, this won't let you edit your fast lags after you've done this. So if you want to re-edit them, you have to go in and untick this. But having it ticked and applying this when you've got, you know, your fast lags dialed, it's going to ensure that Roblox does not automatically edit them or try and remove some of your fast lags when they make new updates. And that's super important. But assuming you've now got the absolute best fast lags, going into Roblox itself, if you go into your settings, this works literally doesn't matter what game you're in, just Roblox as a whole. I'll show you the rival settings in a minute. You want to make sure your maximum refresh rate is on the highest value. Again, if you've unlocked this, you can literally put it at like a thousand plus, but two four it will be the most stable. Scrolling down, make sure you're in full screen. This will give you the least input delay. Graphics mode, set this from automatic to manual and have it on the absolute lowest. This will give you the best performance. But if you don't like how it looks, you can go up to free, but I wouldn't go anywhere above this personally. And that is literally everything for your actual Roblox settings. But now game specific settings like rivals, here you want to disable the shadows. Literally it says it reduces lag. So turn this on, disable textures. Also affirms here it reduces lag. So turn it on. If you want to turn it off, it says you'll have to restart your game, but turning it on, you don't need to do that. So just take 
kick that one on. Wraps, disable those. And accessible flashes, this does not change whatsoever. It just means you do not get blinded when they throw. So uh, definitely have this one on. Well, personally. Maybe you hate your vision. And scrolling down with rivals, a lot of people will only talk about these settings and think these are the only things that affect your FPS, but it's actually very wrong. If you scroll down, things like the camera zoom effect, lowering this, as well as turning off field of view effects and camera shake, not only can these give you a bit of a competitive advantage in terms of your game is more consistent, things aren't moving as much, it's easier to aim, but these are essentially visual effects that your GPU has to kind of process, it has to render them. And of course, that taxes your hardware. Now, field of view, it's something that I need to mention. Of course, having this higher will give you a more competitive advantage obviously this is maybe the only caveat here but when you think about it logically the more your game has to see so the more your gpu has to render the lower fps you're going to get it's not a crazy difference but for you people that are on maybe laptops or really really bad systems you will notice more fps having this lower i have 110 i have quite a high end pc but just something to keep in mind oh and there's a reason i told you to stick to the end because i completely forgot to mention this it happens on your fast there's a few things that you may actually want to remove so i mentioned this in my discord server to someone but if your in-game lighting appears a little dark with these flags you want to remove this value right here it's a debug pause voxelizer so looking at the actual fast flags where it says true you can either write false here and, or you know change it to false or you can literally remove the value entirely you can of course also do this in your bootstrappers fast leg editor and the low textures if you think it's just too low textured of course that will give you better fps but you basically want to remove these top two right here so the texture quality override enabled and then also the texture quality override so you enable it and then this is what overrides it this value right here so either set this to zero and change this to false or just get rid of it completely that is the easier option